Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I am so excited to be making this video for you guys. If you follow me on any of my social media, you probably already heard the big news that I designed my own makeup palette. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Well, it's eyeshadow and highlighters, but this is my little baby, and I am seriously so excited to be announcing this for you guys. I actually just hit my four year mark on YouTube. August 25th was four years since I posted my first ever makeup video, which is honestly so crazy. Like, so much has changed in four years, and I don't know, it's just weird to think about. Like, four years I've been making videos and uploading them online. Like, that's just crazy. Thank you, every single person that has been with me since day one, or anyone that just found me yesterday. You guys seriously mean the world to me, and I am just so blessed and so excited to have been given this opportunity to create something for you guys. So I teamed up with BH Cosmetics to create my 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. One of the main reasons that I wanted to team up with BH was because when I first started freelancing seven or eight years ago, they were one of the first companies that I used. I went out and I bought like the 180 color eyeshadow palette and I remember thinking it was like the coolest thing of life. So BH holds a special place in my heart because when I wasn't able to afford any of the higher end items, that's what I was using and that's what I used to start my whole entire career. So when they came to me with this idea, it just only felt right. Another main reason that I wanted to work with BH Cosmetics for my first ever palette is I wanted every single person to be able to purchase it. You guys are going to literally die when you hear the price. I'm not allowed to say anything yet because nothing's really finalized, but it's going to be so affordable so I feel like anybody can save up their pennies and nickels and dimes and go and get it if, of course, you want to. So I put so much hard work, love, and energy into creating this palette for you guys and not only are they colors that I personally am obsessed with and I love, I feel that a lot of the colors that I use will look amazing on any skin tone, which is awesome. I wanted to create a palette that could be used every single day. It could be used for daytime, it could be used for nighttime, something super dramatic or something just very, very, very light. So I'm so excited to be sharing it with you guys. I'm going to do a full review, show you guys the inside, show you swatches of every single color. And yeah, so I'm just going to fill you all in on my brand new Carly Bible palette. It will be launching in the beginning of September. I don't have an exact date for you guys as of yet, but of course I will keep you posted. So again, I'm so excited. Thank you all for the love so far. I know none of you have even seen the colors yet, and I've seen so much positive feedback, which is so amazing. Really quickly before I get into the inside of the palette, I just wanted to let you guys know that I wanted to create a palette that looked nothing like anything that I own or anything that I've seen on the market. I feel like so many eyeshadow palettes are just black or just plain, and I don't have any eyeshadow palette that's all white like this, so I thought it would stand out and you guys wouldn't have to dig for it. You'd know that this was my palette. And oh, another thing that I did is I have my name on the side and the little baby penguin, a little pink penguin just so you guys know that it's just me hanging out on the back of the palette. <laughs> so the front is like a cushion design with some white pearls and it's just very very elegant and chic looking. I wanted it to kind of match my whole beauty room which is just has a really shabby chic all white vibe to it. So this is my palette, close up and personal. I'm gonna go over the entire outside and then I'm gonna take you guys through the inside. So on the front you can see the cushion design with some pearls. I wanted to keep the palette all white and really chic and just really beautiful so that's why I went with this design. On the binding of the palette you can see my name and then a cute little penguin. I couldn't not include a penguin so I figured that would be a perfect little hidden spot to keep it. And I just wanted you guys to think of me every time that you saw it. So here on the back, the cushion design transferred over. Also, there's like a really pretty border. It says a little bit about me on the top, and then it just has it in another language. And I also wanted to point out that this palette is cruelty-free, so no animals were harmed whatsoever when creating it, which is really, really exciting because I wanted to make sure this time around that I did something that was cruelty-free for those of you guys out there that only buy cruelty-free products. So once you open up, you could see it says, Aspire to inspire. Inspire, which I feel like has been my quote since day one. It's also my quote on my Instagram profile. I think the main thing that I have wanted to do and that I have done since day one with this whole beauty career is I just wanted to make 
everybody feel beautiful. I wanted to inspire you guys to step outside of your comfort zones, try new things, and try different makeup tricks that can help you feel more beautiful on the outside, which in turn will, of course, make you feel more beautiful on the inside. So I think that has really been my motto from day one, so that's why I wanted to include that quote on the inside. There's also a nice little mirror. So this is my palette. I am so excited to finally reveal it to you guys. Here we have the 10 eyeshadow shades. The first row is definitely one of my favorites. These two shades right here I have been using literally every single day. You have your neutral matte shade right here, and then we have a shimmer pinkish tone right here. Then we have the two matte mauve purpley colors that look amazing on everybody. One of the main reasons that I wanted to pick these two colors is, I don't know if you guys know this, but our natural shadows of our faces have a purple tone in it. So instead of going for your normal matte light brown shade to just give you a very natural look, try using a shade like this and watch how beautiful it looks on your eyes. It's so gorgeous and it's so buildable so you can keep it really natural or you can build it up to be a little bit more dramatic. Then we have the dark plum right here which is just an absolute gorgeous color that I think looks so amazing on so many different skin tones so many different hair colors I have tested this palette out on a bunch of people and I've noticed that it just looks amazing on everybody then in the second row we have a champagne shimmer we have a gold shimmer we have a beautiful brown shimmer a copper shimmer and then a matte dark brown it's like a dark ash brown which is really really nice if you do wet this shade it's gonna give you an almost black shadow so for those of you guys that want to do a more dramatic look you can really use this as either like a medium to dark brown shade or if you get your brush wet like I said it'll give you almost a black shade so this palette is so versatile you can do so much with it For the last row, these are the highlight shades. You can see they are pressed in with a flower decal, which is just so gorgeous. I feel like it adds to the palette. The first highlight shade is a beautiful pink color. Then we have a more champagne tone, a gold tone, and then this one I actually use as a bronzer. If you use this as a bronzer, you don't need a lot of it, but it's going to give you that beautiful shimmery glow that everybody is looking for. It's going to give you that J-Lo glow. So the best part about these highlight shades is not only are these four highlight shades, but there's a couple shades in here that can also be used as highlighters. When you first look at the palette, I know there's a couple that look really similar. For instance, we have this one that looks like this one. We have the two golds that look similar, and then these two look pretty similar. I'm going to show you guys the swatches, the ones that may appear to be the same. Um, they actually are very different, so I wanted to show you guys them side by side so you can really see the difference in them. So I just wanted to show you one of the highlighters in action until I actually get around to creating a tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm going to use the gold tone for today. And I'm literally obsessed with these highlighters. They're so pigmented. Just one little dip and that's really all you need, unless you like extra, of course. You can see that was literally just one dip in and my biggest problem with highlighters was I don't know if I was doing it wrong or what the case was but I would apply it and then I would never get like that glow but these highlighters they give you that glow that I've always dreamed about so that's just so exciting for me um, I'm also gonna apply the highlighter on the bridge of my nose and also on my chin and above my cupid's bow so again, that was literally just one swipe. If you guys want to double it up and mix colors, you can do that as well. Here, I'll pick up a little bit of like that champagne and I'll just throw a little bit over that. So pretty! Just taking a little on my finger and going to highlight the nose. I honestly can't even like I'm barely, barely touching them, and look at this. Talk about a bang for your buck. <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on my chin, and her right here. So I hope 
hope you guys are as excited as I am. I hope you guys love the colors. Again, a lot of the colors that I chose I felt would be great neutrals and earthy tones for an everyday look and again a night out look. So this look that I'm wearing right now, it's pretty natural. It's definitely been my go-to. I've been so obsessed with the mauve slash light purple colors. I think they are so gorgeous and I think they look so great on so many different skin tones. I have used this palette on all of my friends. They've all loved it and I've tried so many different looks with it so I'm so excited to start creating some makeup tutorials using it but for today I just wanted to give you guys a full review of the palette show you guys swatches show you every little inch of it and I know I wrote a little something on social media thanking all of you guys but I just wanted to say it again on camera that I'm not even kidding you when I say like this all is because of you. I am blessed with these opportunities because you guys found something in me that you loved and that you wanted to continue watching. So thank you guys so much. You all literally are my life and I don't think I go one day without talking about some of you guys. I go through, I read your comments and you have no idea how much of a positive impact you've all had on my life. So. I am so, so excited to finally be releasing something of my own that everybody can use and everyone can purchase. I'm so excited about the price point. I feel like anybody can afford it and that was really my main goal. So again, I saw some comments, people were like, that's it, she's making a palette with BH, like she couldn't have done something better. And you know what, that's fine for some people. If you feel you are too good for cheaper or more affordable makeup, then that's fine. You don't need to try out my palette. But this palette was really for my everyday girl, my heart working girl that maybe doesn't have a lot of that extra money and they want to try something out that's really cool. I hope you enjoyed and I will keep you guys updated on dates of release and all that stuff and yeah it's limited edition so make sure you get it while you still can. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will see you guys later.